What up, y'all? Let's get right. I'm not even gonna. I'm still trying to figure out how to do this YouTube thing, you know. It's still weird, like, essentially talking to myself in the camera. But I'm trying, you know, I'll find my way. Uh, but, uh, at least when it comes to, like, subsequent parts of a series I'm doing, like, you know, multi part of, like, a story driven game like this, I don't think I'm gonna do too much introing and talking. We're just gonna get right into it. Especially because we need to see what happened. If you remember from the end of the last video and the end of chapter one, Vince had, uh, I think his name was Tyler, at gunpoint, and I had to choose, basically, to shoot Tyler or surrender him the gun. And I kept, y'all heard me, I was talking for a good amount of time. I was trying to rationalize put myself in his shoes versus accept but nah, put myself in his shoes and not necessarily me as someone watching who has extra viewpoints and extra you know advantages that he wouldn't in that scenario and I'm thinking if my my wife and my daughter's at gunpoint I don't know these people there's multiple assailants I don't I don't know that the younger one is, is really a good guy. He's just, you know, with his people. I don't know that they're... Probably wouldn't hurt us. You know, if everything went smoothly. Probably wouldn't hurt us and would let us go. But I don't know that as the guy in the situation. I don't know that as me who got to see both of their perspectives. So, because I was, if I kept looking at it from my point of view, I don't, I don't think I would know what to do. So I'm like, oh, if I surrender, maybe we'll live, but then that doesn't mean anything because they can still keep my wife as hostage. They can kidnap her when they drive away just as insurance. Something could happen to my daughter, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, in this situation where I beat this guy's ass, took the gun, that's the only point in this entire thing where I had some sort of power other than when Joyce, uh, other than when Joyce... Uh, had her gun pointed at him, and then I took this gun in the beginning, but they both fumbled that shit, which is stupid. <laughs> but I guess that has to happen for the story, right? If the cops come there, that instant, the game is literally 30 minutes long. <laughs> so, I get it, but um, yeah, I was thinking in that scenario, it's like, I, 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 bought, I beat the guy's ass, I have his gun. I'm thinking in that scenario in real life, Especially because they aren't like they were before where they were calm. They're mad now. They're like, oh, you lied about having a family? You trying to get us caught? Because I did, I forgot I did do that thing where um, I was like, yeah, let's go. Because I was being realistic. I'm like, in that scenario, I would have grabbed them and ran to my car and just drove off. We could always come back later. Or actually, I don't remember if his car is even running right now. I think it is. But that's all I was thinking, because I'm like, jig is up at this point. I would, we would just run. But, yeah, so now this guy, he, he's mad. He just shot the cop. He, he thinks we're a liar now. Who knows what Who knows what he would do once he got, once they both have the gun. Now that they're mad that, you know, and they already have a body. They shot a cop. They have nothing to lose at this point. Literally have nothing to lose at this point. They, they caught a body. <laughs> The worst body you can catch, because he literally was on call when they shot him. So people are already being dispatched to the area. It's like, yeah, I think I, I don't know about the right choice, but I made the best, the happiest choice I would make in that scenario or in most scenarios in that situation. So, because uh, I'm thinking about so my wife surviving mainly, and the only way that happens is if I have a gun. She's in a bad pickle regardless, and I'm, I'm assuming, I noticed in the, in the timeline tree, she gets, she gets hostage, she becomes a hostage no matter what. No matter what you do in those scenarios, she somehow becomes a hostage. That's like, unavoidable. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming she dies, not only in my thing, but I'm assuming this, that's something she happens. It's just about 
it's more on the the how she dies, or maybe who else dies besides her. But I'm assuming she dies no matter what, and then that leads to adult, the adult version of the daughter and her current story that gets when it goes back to that point. Um, but yeah, I've already talked way longer than I planned to. <laughs> I was literally ready to just get into it, and I talked for five minutes. My bad. But hey, maybe y'all, maybe y'all like that. I don't know. But all right. Whew. Chapter two. Let's get it. I know that game. Thank you for reminding me. find out what happened. Are you, you serious? You are going to shoot me point blank with a shotgun in front of your whole family? I... It wasn't loaded. No, but you didn't know that. You were ready to do it. God. You're trying to kidnap my wife, man. You think I'm just gonna stand here and let that happen? I cannot believe Dale, the Dale, get the duffel loaded. back. We're out of here. <gasps> I'm about to say the cops are on the way. We're not going anywhere. Fuck! Oh, no, now we're in a real hostage situation. It's I guess okay. I was thinking too much. He'll get us out of here. You got more faith in him than I do. <laughs> That's the one they shot. Oh. Bro, he is tough. This is Sheriff Romero of the Two Rock County Sheriff's Department. But you assholes know that already. Right. The good news is, in Arizona, burglary is a class three felony. You can practically get off with a warning. The bad news is, your dipshit spoke into my house and shot me. If I wasn't wearing my vest. How'd they even find us? Someone called 911. Jay! Check they can't get in the back. You people are smart, you'll save me some trouble. I feel just sorry for Jay. Up. Keep the ringer on in there. I'm gonna call you to negotiate your surrender. We're not talking with this asshole. Bro, right? y'all are screwed. You just shot a cop. Take him in the back there. They don't even that radio. Oh. They don't even know you shot the cop either. I mean, granted, y'all are screwed no matter what, but now? Dante will get us out. He's too strong-minded for his own good half the time, but he gets things done. <laughs> you sound like you know him pretty well. It's a small town. Everyone knows everyone. <laughs> right. Wonder if he knows Ash isn't here tonight. That's all the more reason your so robbery is fucking stupid. Yeah. Best thing I ever did. We're sitting ducks here. I say we stick to the plan. Take our chances with a hostage. See? The back gate's chained up. There's no way in. Tyler, I don't know. Maybe we should just give ourselves... Don't say it. Romero's impatient. And these small town cops couldn't catch a cold. Our best move is to wait. <sighs> Is someone going to get that? The police are going to catch you and put you in jail. You cut it out or I'll put you in a corner. Hey! 
You can't talk to my granddaughter like that. She's six years old. She's just speaking her mind. Yeah, I'm speaking my mind. <laughs> Enough! Next person who talks is going in the back office. That's, this isn't the time. <laughs> if you could reach Dante without them knowing. Bro, what? Um, crack a joke. Hey guys, what do bank robbers eat for dessert? Uh? Heist cream. You get it? <laughs> You're an idiot. You know that? I mean, it was kind of funny. You yeah. see? He gets it. You just don't have a sense of humor. All right, that's it. Into the back. No, don't separate us. He'll stay quiet. Michelle, it's fine. It's not fine. None of this is fine. I think you both I need a little it, time out. But also, okay? wife, I'm trying Make to sure do something Make sure nobody answers here. the damn phone. I mean, at least now I'm with my wife, but... Keep your mouth shut. And don't make me come in here again. Sheriff calls again. Good thinking. Can you get your hands free? Yeah, it's no good. It's too tight. All right. How do we do this? Friction, maybe. Or we use scissors. How are we gonna or get that? We use scissors. Think you can knock that pen holder to the floor? Wait, they're not actually. They can stand up, right? It. It's gonna fall. Try to cover the noise. Cover the noise. I'll cough. On three. One. Two. <laughs> if it's the cops, they're gonna keep calling. Can you reach the scissors? This is a new. Quick, I'll block the door. Yeah, some of these interactions are tight. I'm in the Desert Dream Motel. Can you connect me directly to the sheriff? This is Sheriff Romero. Who am I talking to? My name is Vincent Walker, and I'm. My family. We're hostages in here. Whoa, slow down there, Vince. Oh, I can help you. But you gotta relax those nerves first, alright? I may not have much time. Bro, Look, this is not the time. Where's my deputy? He's... They sh shot him. He's dead. Hello? We called him Big Sam. He was a good man. What else can you tell me about what's going on in there? Um... The people doing this? There's three of them. The manager said they're the, um, the Holt boys? Oh, no shit. <laughs> well, that explains it. They, they are so dumb. Yeah? Everybody like knows your name story. by heart. <laughs> Tonight's gonna be the end of it. What else? You're good. Keep going. What are they gonna do when they come in here? Are they gonna get back on the ground and pretend like they're tired? Uh... One's just a teenager. The youngest brother, the one they call Jay? He's just a kid. I don't even think he wants to be here. Probably bullied into it, but listen. Yeah. It's good to identify a weak link. <laughs> mm -hmm. For us, and, and for you. Hey! They've blocked the door! Shit! Vince, this door won't hold. Alright. Dale's a psycho. The middle brother, I think his name's Dale. Yeah. He seems sort of a loose cannon, maybe. Yep, that's Dale. Caught him assaulting a liquor store owner a few years back. <laughs> Somehow he thinks it was my fault. That's what he went to do before? Listen, Vince, we're gonna put an end to this thing. And sooner than you think. Just keep your eyes open, okay?
Next time you talk to one of my hostages behind my back, I take him to the window and shoot him. <laughs> Keep your people 30 yards from the motel and don't call us again. Damn. <laughs> what did you tell him? <clears throat> Nothing. I didn't have time. <sighs> You're lying to me. He's not. They barely said hello. These cops, they might work for the county, but they are loyal to him. And he does not care about any of us. And you do? Leaving you two alone together was a dumb idea. That was a dumb idea. That hurts! You should never have come to Two Rock. That was a dumb idea. Why would you put him and his wife together? <laughs> So, let's see. Twelve years as a flight mechanic. Pretty high up. Then, one day, bam. Bits of engine all over the hangar. Two workers hospitalized, and another in the morgue. All because you left a lug nut loose on a DC-10. No. Wow. That wasn't me. It was a faulty compressor disc. The airline was cutting corners. I kept warning them, but... It's still your word against theirs. My advice? Sign the form. Take the money. It's a generous offer. It's a gag order. If I sign that, it's professional suicide. Look, I keep the check. It won't even cover my rent for a year. All I want... Use my job back. Mr. Walker, with all due respect, you'll never work for an airline again regardless. Yeah, you're screwed. Take the money. Do yourself a favor. Pick up the pen. I understand the rage. I understand the rage. But you're screwed regardless. You might as well take the um the money. Where do I sign? You made the right decision. Now, all you've got to do is wake up and do it for real. Okay, it's dreaming. <gasps> Shit. <clears throat> Hello? Sorry. Probably busy packing. I just picked Zoe up from swimming. Two days swimming. before the we'll desert be dream. Everything okay? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I just, I just had the strangest dream. I was back in the lawyer's office. But this time I actually signed the... A dream? At this time of day? While I was packing, you know, like, dreaming about our, our new life in Missouri. As long as everything's boxed up and in good Why shape Why does it say two days before the desert dream? I know this move dream. is a step and tons of stress, but I've got a really good vibe about it, Vince. We'll be back by seven. I'm just gonna pick up Chinese. <sighs> Zoe! Sorry, gotta go. Sure, okay, but... I can't believe I fell asleep. All right, big man. You got until seven to get this apartment ship shape and ready. So I'm guessing most of this game is this time here. Right? Start. And the girl is an adult. I don't know. Maybe that's not the main story. A bit of a cool start to the day, gradually getting warmer with a high of around 93 degrees. Mostly dry with a humidity of around 69. Well, the weather's the same as here, at least. Come on, Tony. If Jordan can do it, you can do it. Who's Tony? What the hell, ref? My kid can make a oh, better wait, this is that. the 90s. <laughs> cool coach. I was like, Tony? Some dreams never get off the ground. Yeah, we're good. We're good. What's next? Huh. 
Okay. This is anything like the cold air unit on a flight deck. There should be... Well, oh, wait. this is obviously alien technology. I'm glad I didn't have that action before. Cool ethereal thermostat Make a control. circle? It's AC by Vince. All right, on the home stretch now. Uh, wash dishes. Huh? Oh, I was about to say. <laughs> This is done. Daddy! Hi, Pumpkin. How was your last day? Okay, I guess. Mimi gave me her address, but I'm gonna miss her. No, I hear you. It's a big change for everyone. We'll write to her as soon as we get to St. Louis. Okay, gotta help Mommy now. Why don't you run upstairs and get your PJs on? Are you going to put me to bed tonight? Sure thing, kiddo. <laughs> I know you worked hard today, so I got you your favorite. Mmm, hmm, shrimp noodles. By the way, did the moving company call? Um, nope. Awesome. You took care of everything. Not everything. Yep. The couch tried to stop me with a five o'clock nap, but I got it done. Another bad night's sleep? Are you feeling any better? I'm fine. Just that dream I had about the... You know what? Never mind. You remember what you told me when I got laid off from the tax office? Make sure you empty the stationary cupboard on your way out? <laughs> no. <laughs> you told me that change only hurts when you try to stop it happening. And you were right. Hmm. If I hadn't gotten laid off, I would never have finished my PhD application or gotten my job at the university. I get it. Focus on the positives. God, I'm starving. Zoe's already eaten, but I haven't had a chance all day. I'll get her ready for bed Will you get noodled up. Come on, let's get your jammies on. <laughs> so, how are you feeling about the move tomorrow? Looking forward to it? I dreamed that the movers took my, my star lamp. And I was so scared because I never sleep in the dark. Hey, you know what? I had a bad dream recently. About something I can't get off my mind and I wish I could. Was it about the dark? No, but... The thing about dreams is, maybe sometimes they're trying to tell us something. Like, what? We all have things that scare us. Like the dark. And that's okay. I guess we just learn to live with it until maybe one day we won't be afraid anymore. So when I'm older, I might not even need my star lamp. <laughs> Try to sleep. Okay. Love you all the way to the moon. Love you too. <laughs> Ugh, this moving company better show up tomorrow. How hard is it to send a confirmation message? Settled already? <laughs> well done. I'd better go kiss her goodnight before she drops off. Well, there you go. I bet that's them right now. One last drink. Who's Bruce? It's your sweet little smile.
trash. No outage, the damn sheriff. Dale, keep a look at I need to get the hell out of here. This dude, his eyes open is creepy. Okay, that's the desk. Hairpin could be useful. Uh, try one. <laughs> Not getting out that way. Go do it. Hey. Hey. I can't believe that actually worked. What good is this gonna do? They're just gonna put you back in the room. You barely see us. Get some rope. We should hide the hostages. Hey, did you hear something? I'll check the back door. Zoe's up there. She's scared of the dark. <laughs> what? How do they not see him? They're coming for you. You know that, right? Shut up, Joyce. I'm serious. Should we run? Take our chances cross country? Just keep quiet. Let me think. Is Zoe by herself right now? Zoe, it's me, Pumpkin. It's Daddy. You hear what's going on? We have to stay real quiet. There, that one came from the hall. Why are we hiding? Because I don't know what else to do. Hey, Why is he hiding me. with Zoe? It's Vince. I'm coming in. Daddy. Why is he hiding? I didn't hurt her. I promise. I know. I heard. Zoe, you okay? Daddy. I don't want to be here anymore. I don't understand why he was hiding. <laughs> Hold it tight. Why was he hiding, though? Or why was hey, he... Remember what I told you? It's okay to be scared. Let it all out, Pumpkin. Like, what Don't if they find him hiding? They're going to hurt him. Uh... They're probably just checking things out. They're not gonna try anything. You think? Yeah. You're cool. Listen, I'm gonna get us out of here before... before the lights come back on. Okay? With Mommy and Grandpa? Of course. We won't leave them behind. Just because she said that, one of them is gonna die. Or both. I'm trying to find out who who the fuck is Bruce. I get laid off from my job and you get text from Bruce. We'll we'll get back to that. You guys all right? You found her. Thank God. Where are the Holtz? I think they went out the back. We need to get out of here. Give me your wrists. Oh. I gotta keep my hand on his mouth. <laughs> are you hurt? No. They really I'm all left? Or are they upstairs? Okay, go! Everybody down! Oh, shit. 
Now y'all sure. bust in when they're We're gone? Hostages. Stay down and don't move. Yo, imagine they the busted pearls? in when I was sneaking around and they thought I was one of the criminals. Shit. Run for the door! I'll cover you! Gotta fall back! What is their plan? Sanchez! Bro, y'all need to go back upstairs. Come on, it's now or never. We won't make it. Oh. Running for a scene, like, it sounds good, but. Especially with this game, and how anytime there's like an option that will like have you free, it's like not. And with guns fucking going off. You do not want to be the sudden movement while they're looking for people to shoot. Vince, we need to go. It's too dangerous. I'm not dying in this goddamn motor lot. You have, what the hell are you you have doing? a tumor. What is Grandpa! wrong with you? <gasps> Idiot. Sanchez is hit. I knew this was a bad idea. Back. Hold fire! Repeat, hold your fire! I said 30 fucking yards! You try that again, and every last one of them leaves in a body bag! Bro, what kind of weak ass police? Y'all had the entire inside secure. You could have escorted the hostages out. They were Jim. free and alone. Jim, can you hear me? Oh, you could have literally walked them out the All front. Right. In fact, that's okay. protocol, I'm pretty sure. Vince? Is Grandpa uh, hurt? I don't know, honey. Uh, 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 and y'all instead got okay. into a I mean, I, I get it. They had he to an ambulance. get out. Get him an ambulance. <laughs> he looks... Let me start. Yeah, let me pause. Let me get in the habit of pausing while I, I talk sometimes. Because I'll be forgetting people are watching this. Uh, that was so stupid. You had three cops, right? Y'all can't, and they came from upstairs. Y'all could have, once y'all got the house, y'all could have had one cop, like, escort them to the, either upstairs or out the front door. Before y'all, you know, the, the whole shootout happened. And then two, it's like, y'all are more armed than them. All they have, they have the one pistol they took from Joyce, and they have the uh, little sawed-off. You have more bullets than them. Like, they can't be in an extended shootout with you. And two, it's like, <laughs> y'all were in there already. Y'all let them... <laughs> Y'all let them push you out and then regain the control of the situation and regain the hostages. Like, what? All right. All right. Maybe just a concussion. Oh. It's not just that. He's got a brain tumor. Oh. If he got hit in the wrong spot or something. Oh, shit. Not to sound cold or anything, but dude, you're already oh, old God. and you have a brain tumor. This is... This is all my fault. If I hadn't been so hell-bent on making amends. Hey, are you, you with dying us? now or two years from now? It's not that big of a difference. And why did you run? You are li you sh <laughs> He said, I'm not tired of this motel. And then, like a uh, dumbass friend. Why you run for the door like that, huh? I shouldn't have come back. I never even paid the bill. What, what bill? Jim, what are you talking about? He's saying some ain't, ain't shit shit, I can tell. I'll I'll be all right. I, I shouldn't have paid the bill. I just I shouldn't need have a, come back. a minute to, to get my... Easy now. He needs to see a doctor. No shit. How'd you get caught so quick, huh? The cops, they... I didn't have time to hide. Lucky you got me around to bail you out. 
Dale, go see if you can barricade the second floor. Mm. Uh. What? No, no, stop. You listen to me. What I want is a helicopter or I start killing hostages. Huh? That's right. And safe passage to Mexico. Mexico? Since when? Since now. Look, you boys are in way over your heads. You couldn't even nail a burglary. Now you want a helicopter? Spare me the lecture. Can you do it? I'll look into it. First, I need a show of faith. Let one of the hostages go. I ain't much of one for faith. All right. So let's make it practical. You must be hungry for a hot meal. All right. How about we send you food, you release a hostage, and then I start on that helicopter. Does that work? Pizza. Enough from that shitty joint in town. Franco's. Veggie Delight. Veggie Delight? Give me 20 minutes. Good news, folks. One of you's going home. <laughs> Who's gets it? Who chooses? Okay. Back to this Bruce shit. Oh, man. <laughs> Finally got confirmation from the movers. Tomorrow morning. Good to go. Hmm. At least we get one last California sunset. Thirteen years ago, I couldn't wait to leave St. Louis. First person in the family to go to college. <laughs> My mom. I'll never forget that look of pride as she waved me goodbye. But you know what? I never realized how proud I'd feel to be going back. I just wish it didn't involve so much stuff. Oh, is there anything more stressful than moving? You cheating. <laughs> Sick. Why would I say six-year-olds? I guess this is the distraction. This is the... Nah. Nah, bitch. I hear nah. divorce is stressful. That's it? Anyway, tonight is our last night. And it seems so long since we, you know. Mm. So, how about we make it one to remember? Oh, that's the worst. I wouldn't even be able to do it. I know how my brain works. <laughs> Logically, you're like, yeah, you might as well get what you can while you can. But nope. My brain. Now, by the way, you got a message. Something about cupcake. Why did you, Vince? You've been reading my messages. I saw one message, but don't don't try to flip this around, bitch. Who's Bruce? You want to tell me who Bruce is? And he's calling right now? Jesus, Vince. Some things are private. What? It'll wake Zoe. What? Hello? Well, thank you. It's been nice working with you, too. Oh, I'm sure you'll all do just fine without me. No, I'll let her finish. There's no reason to. Good luck to you too. Bye. Someone from the university. Sure. The one you just left an hour ago. What can I say? My colleagues miss me already. Colleagues like Bruce. Yes, like Bruce. Why does it even matter? Daddy. Bro, I don't like how he's letting her get away with Zoe. Hey, you should be in bed. I, I couldn't sleep. Even with my star lamp on. Daddy. Yes, sweetie? We'll always live together, right? You, me, and mommy? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mommy's Why been misbehaving. Hannah's parents used to argue. 
And now they don't get to live together anymore. Don't worry, honey. We're not doing that. I'm trying to think, is there anything... Was there any room in that text that could have been... misinterpreted? Does he call her Cupcake? Uh-uh. No. So, uh... This Bruce dude... Hmm? Oh, he's just one of the macroeconomics lecturers. We did some research together on the Ecuador financial crisis. There isn't much else to say. Uh-huh. Uh, is he, you know, do you like him? He's clever. We got on well professionally. Academia is competitive. It's rare to make friends. Clever. He calls you Cupcake. Looks like Patrick Swayze. I know the type. Let's forget about all this. Don't let it ruin our last night. I should have said few days never mention him. Man, I don't like how like I shouldn't even ask do you like him. I shouldn't even ask that because he was too casual no. with it. Uh uh, no. Mm 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 mm. You get to talking. Something about it doesn't add up. You've been working late, more than usual. Because I... Because I'm changing schools. <laughs> I need to leave on a high note. You know, last week you said that you had to stay in great papers. Mm -hmm. But you came back smelling of... of wine. And perfume. Look at me. Vince. I know things have been hard. This last year wasn't a great one for us. But nothing happened between me and Bruce. Can you please believe me? Oh, we. <laughs> oh, we. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because I'm a cancer. I don't know if it's because. Uh, I don't know. I'm just naturally. Just kind of. I don't know. Just old school. hopeless romantic type or whatever but whenever these plot points end up in games where it's like I don't know not just someone like possibly cheating but it's like I don't know you can kind of navigate into it with them like in these these type of games it's like something about it like pulls me in more like I feel more invested somehow <laughs> alright it's weird but um The f what he just said made it worse. You talking about you graded in papers, but you smell of perf you you smell like wine and perfume. Mm -mm. This is one of those things where even if you technically didn't do anything, you didn't you didn't go all the way. You still were doing shit you shouldn't have been doing. It's still cheating. Michelle, every bone in my body tells me you're, you're keeping God. secrets. You no, never mentioned this. Ridiculous. Uh, All right, then give me your cell phone. What? I want to have a look at your messages. Have you got something to hide? No, of course not. So what's the problem? He has a point. What's the matter? It was a mistake. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And she sat there and told me she didn't do any nothing happened. She looked me in my eyes and said right. nothing happened. I don't know what to tell you. It just happened. It just happened. Was it good? <laughs> That's the chaotic response. Nah. It just happened. 
You made a choice, Michelle. You chose to do this. Jesus. You don't need to raise your voice at me. It was stupid. After the accident, you were so... Bro, that is Neither so trash, bro. And he was... I don't know. He was there. Cheating by itself is already trash, but when when the excuse is you 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 had an accident like with with him it's one thing again there's no justification for cheating but it's one thing if like the partner's like neglectful and treating you like shit and whatever whatever it's still again no excuse for cheating but like then you can kind of understand the thinking behind it they're treating you like shit anyway you're on your way out anyway that type of thing but when it's shit like this, like this man, he got laid off. He had an accident. And because I have an accident, you, oh, this guy is just here. And whoo, like I said before, these, these type of shit, it, it, it pulls me in more. I, I feel it more. <laughs> it's, all, it's like I'm putting myself in, in the dude's shoes. Uh, I'm, I'm getting mad for him. Mm-mm-mm. Not gonna ask him. Ask her that. I should never ask. Do you like him? And she, I asked her, Do you like him? She was like, Oh yeah, he's okay. He's he's a friend. Fucking lying ass. How many times have you slept with him? What difference does it make? How many times? How many times? I don't know. Two or three. Well, was it two or was it three? <laughs> it was three. Look, it was just sex. That's honestly all it was. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Talking about it's just sex. L listen to what you're saying. It's what? Disgusting? Mm -hmm. Is that why you never want to sleep with me anymore? That doesn't. So you think that gives you what? Some kind of uh, moral high ground? What? You were lying this whole time. Like how you lied to me for three months about looking for a job? I wasn't lying. I couldn't find one. No. I had to find one for you. Not her throwing his job in his so face. You haven't touched me in months. You haven't looked at me. When was the last time we even watched a movie together? When you lost your job. This wall went up. You pretend everything's fine. That you don't need to talk. But the wall just gets higher and higher. Brick by brick. And I missed you, okay? If you miss your man and you want to spend time with your man and you want to be intimate with your man, then fucking initiate things with your man. I guarantee you, nine times out of ten, if if this is an excuse and this is really what you're saying because we've already shown you're a liar you lied to my face just now but on the off chance you're not lying about about this all those things can be solved with a conversation and some initiation and some whatever there's not a couple on earth that doesn't go through dry spells or something of the of sort like that you know it doesn't fix that shit? Fucking your co-worker. That's what doesn't fix the shit. <sighs> Trifling. Alright, we back.
And she's trying to flip it on me? I'm not going to say sorry. Mm -mm. How dare you turn this back on me? I'm just trying to make you understand. Look, I know you're hurt and angry, but I can't undo what I did. You want revenge? Have a one night stand. That doesn't work that way. <laughs> that doesn't work That's not like that. The point. I don't want to sleep with anyone else. I want you. Vince, I did a stupid thing. It was meaningless, but it happened. And not only that, it wasn't even like she, 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 again, she's already trash, trifling, whatever, whatever. It wasn't even like she keeps saying like it was meaningless and it was, or told him to have a one night stand. That wouldn't be an equivalent. You didn't go to a bar one night and then randomly sleep with a stranger, which is still irresponsible and trifling and trash and whatever, whatever. but it, that would be the equivalent of him going out and having a one night stand or that would be the equivalent or the closest thing to meaningless. You have a working relationship with this dude. You called your friend. You have a close personal relationship. You're working together. You're spending quality time together. You're sharing interests. You're sharing passion. He's calling you cupcake. That is damn near a relationship. The only reason you're not in a relationship is because you have a husband. Who knows if Bruce even knows about the husband? Mm, I'm so I'm so mad for him right now. Damn you, developer, making this <laughs> gripping that story. All right. All right. If I could take it back, I would. That doesn't mean anything. Will you at least sit down so we can talk this through? Kiss. <laughs> Man. All right. This is the last I'm going to I'm going to sidebar about this whole shit. Side, cheating topic and shit, but like why would you kiss at a moment like this? <laughs> Again, I don't know about anyone else. I only know me and I'm like there's like a there's like a rage I would feel in this moment or at least or or even if the rage passes, because the anger doesn't stay, but it would be like a, a sadness, a deep sadness, like kiss. And I'm thinking, like, I don't know. Like, is there a scenario where I would I would kiss her at this point? And I'm like, only if I don't know. I did something shitty or secretive a while back, and or. My my level of love for her was just that crazy. Like I knew if 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 somehow I knew she was like I don't know I couldn't be with anyone else or I wouldn't be with anyone else. And then maybe, but I'm like I'm thinking I'm <laughs> in my head for him. I'm thinking how am I gonna get this divorce? I just told my daughter. We not gonna split up, and then what? What happened? We get out and have a fight, <laughs> and I can't think of much else outside of divorce. But I'm thinking, I'm like, is there a scenario? I don't know. The only scenario is if I don't know. I was I was old, like maybe I was like fifty, sixty, and then I found. Let's say I found out something happened, like ye like like twenty years prior type stuff. That's I think that's the only time I would I would react that way because one it's like I'm sixty. I'm not gonna be I'm not trying to be out dating, I'm looking for someone else. That that ship that ship has sailed. And two <laughs> uh it's like just just pure laziness. It's like at that point, it, like again, like you're not you're not gonna be out looking for someone else. You already built your most likely you built your life at that point. It's it's too much work to try to split up at that point. Out and 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 it happened so long ago. It's previous to you knowing, so it's like that's uh, that's the only instance. But um, other than that, like I'm old already and I'm done with the whole dating scene. Nah. 
You gotta go. So kiss is the romantic option. Basically the forgive option. Ooh, break glass. Sit and talk, I guess, is the neutral option, which... I'm, I'm definitely the type to talk. Even if I'm furious, I will talk about it. Break glass, I would want to. <laughs> I often want to be that dude that, like... Just... <laughs> just break some shit out of... So you can see how mad I am, but also... I'm also that guy who doesn't want to be seen as, like, violent, even if it's on an inanimate object. So, nah, we ain't doing that. See the leave or sit and talk. Nah, we leaving. You're not the woman I married. You just look like her. Ooh. Oh, that was fire. Yeah, you need to think about what you did. Vince, You're not the woman I I'm married. Worried about you your just dad. look like her. Head injuries, bad enough on their own. Oh, but if was... he's got something up there pushing against his brain. Bro, stop How's talking to me about my deadbeat dad. Hey. He's going to die soon anyway. But he wants Zoe to be the one sent out. And Vince, he's right. We've seen what these people are capable of. Please, just get her somewhere safe. Okay, I got your veggie pizzas. Also, and then plus this is a flashback, I know that clearly they they found some way to be cordial, at least. They may not, they may not be, like, together, but they're like, I don't know. Or maybe they worked it out. So I, because I know that, I'm like, it really doesn't matter what I picked in that situation. So, that made me more likely to leave. You want to get them while they're hot, so send me a hostage. Come on, old man. You're going for a walk. Really? Uh, not me. Please. Take Zoe. Take Zoe. I'm, uh, well, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with me. I don't care who goes, but only one of them. Let Zoe go, duh. Why are you going to choose the old ass nigga that's going to die? Zoe, what? <laughs> See, this is the first crossroad choice, or basically this whole cheating part too. Those were easy, but this. Why would I send my deadbeat dying dad? Who has a head injury and probably exacerbated whatever he got going on in his head anyway? Who could have a heart attack? <laughs> you know what I mean? I know this sounds cold, but again, he's. One, he wasn't there anyway, so it's not like it's not it's not like I have to be nice to him. And two, you're gonna die anyway. I think about it, if I was if I was a sixty some, seventy some year old dude and I had a tumor, I would if I'm ever in a situation where I know I'm gonna die in a year or two and I'm in like either an apocalypse situation or I'm in something like this, I would be the most sacrificial I be running up trying to fight any anyone has a gun. I'm running. Up. I'm like, what you gonna do? Kill me? I'm gonna die. I would have that type of attitude. That's why when he was like, I'm not gonna die here, and he got up and ran. That was the stupidest shit. <laughs> Mainly stupid because his family was right there, and it was like it was just dumb because they were gonna they were gonna shoot you or stop you anyway. You had nothing to lose by waiting. Yeah. I almost thought then because this I feel like this is obvious. Yes, I'm gonna send my young daughter. But I feel like they're gonna stop her, they're gonna fight it, so let's see. It's gotta be Zoe. She's seen enough for one night. Fine. Take her out, grab the food, come on back. I'm watching you, Vince. I know this is scary. But this you're gonna is, have to be a brave This is gonna get real awkward if it gets to the point where it's just my cheating wife and <laughs> Imagine imagine Zoe gets out <laughs> my dad gets out <laughs> and then he's like, alright 
Next hostage, you and your wife. <laughs> oh, man. I'm not... Mm. Nah, I'm not. I'm not that shitty. Especially if if they're together at this point. Clearly, they're they're okay. I'm still gonna protect my wife. But if this shit happened, like as if if this wasn't a two month flashback, if this was like the same day conversation. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. I don't want to. I don't even want to. Oh man. Especially for for. Me immersing myself into their story. Oh man! Get out there, okay? I will. Come on, kiddo. It would not be good for you, madame. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's messed up, babe. Eh? Hey, Be look. like that. You dropped this. <laughs> Name's Owl. Owl, huh? You know they can see in the dark. Thanks. Okay, they're coming out. Stay right where you are. I've got eyes on two hostages. One male, one female child approaching from the front of the building. Over. Daddy, is Grandpa going to die? Uh, might as well, he's know. gonna die anyway. Some things grown ups can control, and some things we just can't. But if you don't know, why did you leave him inside? Because Girl. nothing is more important to us than you. <laughs> That's far enough. You want me to leave you inside? I'm Sheriff Romero. I guess you must be Vince. Best if we make this quick. Think of it as an adventure. <laughs> be brave for me, okay? I don't want to be brave. I want to be with you. Well, how about you stay with me? Put the kid in the vehicle. Stay with her. Daddy, please, don't go. I have to, Pumpkin. But what if you don't come back? Aw. If he dies at the end of all this... Gonna be fine. I'm not even gonna say she'll have mommy because we'll we don't know what's gonna happen to mommy. We'll all get out of here and be back in the car in no time. When we get to St. Louis, can we still go see the arch? Oh, you bet. In fact, we can drive straight there. Hey, hurry it up! Come on, kid. <sighs> Give him the food and send him back in. I know how hard this must be for you, Vince. Hell, it's hard for me too. Those fuckers shot me. Bro, if you're gonna talk to me, give me something useful. Don't make some right. talk. I've got good news. Yeah? We're about to have a man on the inside. What? Now pick him up and don't do anything stupid. <laughs> Hey, don't forget the napkins. Two-way pager. I'll be in touch soon. Enjoy your pizzas. Not. Did he just put it on top of the pizzas? Hey, it's the pizza guy. That was so Near sloppy. Late. No tip. He had all that time when he was kneeling down, when he well, was in front of him, you know? to slip him a pager. The cop kept his word. Pizza ain't hard. A helicopter, though. Look, I know you didn't want this, but you got Romero right. 
he had all that time to hand him a pager and tell him, like, the plan. I was like, if you're going to talk to me, tell me something important. Tell me a plan. Tell me whatever. You over here doing all the small talk. You wait till I get the pizzas and turn around, full view of the guy who's robbing the place. Put a pager on top of my shit covered in a napkin. <laughs> How did, and then he took it off the thing, put it in his pocket. How did he not see me do that? Oh my god. I really hope you're right. I spent 10 years saving up for this place. Ash only just started to feel at home. How can we stay here now? We'll give the walls a fresh coat of paint. Replace the glass, you'll see. It'll be good as new. It's not the walls. It's what happened within them. Vince, is Zoe okay? She's fine. How's your head? Throbbing, but I think I'm gonna live. So, did you meet the sheriff out there? Yeah, you could say that. What's he like? Seems like he's got a handle on things. Think. We'll see. Won't really know until the shit hits the frying pan. You want my take? Steer clear. Now, don't share this, but Dante's a cousin of mine, and him being sheriff? Ain't no one in the family thought that was a good idea. What are you doing? I'm counting out cash. Jay, you gonna eat? Not hungry. I want it to be over, Tyler. All of it. It'll be over when we win. You remember that? And do your part. You need some goddamn food. What did that dude mean by no one thought that was a good idea? Maybe. I'm about to say, I can't do much in here. Hey, you want to share that with the rest of us? Um, no. Nope. What? Don't think I do. <sighs> Are you serious? Are you deaf? Because hmm? you want to live. No, you can't have any. They have like five boxes of pizza you can't share. Okay, what never do you mind. Mean this sheriff is any. weird. There's six pizzas. For us. So back the fuck off. You asshole. Paul has low blood sugar. It's fine. I'll eat from the vending machine. No. I said no. The answer is no. Um, ah. This helps the sheriff, but I don't know if I trust the sheriff. Come on, man. Just share the food. Here you go, getting all up in my shit again. Why should I? Huh? Isn't it worth a few slices to shut everyone up? If I wanted to shut them up, I'd just fucking do it. They giving you problems? Nah, I got this. This dude's unstable. Oh, shit, sorry. Idiot. <laughs> Clean it up. Mm. You know what the trouble with you is? You get too fucking involved. If you just stay quiet to begin with, we'd be gone by now. Never thought of it like that. What you don't get is... Oh, shit. This ain't us. 
needed money, but it's not like... Tyler, he built shit. Jay's into nature. Me? Yeah, I robbed the liquor store once, but I'm getting the job soon. There's this girl I got on here. Though, why Jessica would date me after this shit, I got no idea. Fain interest, ah. This girl, Jessica, you want to tell me about her? No, I don't want to fucking tell you about her. She's none of your goddamn business or anybody else's. In fact, don't ever say her name again. Hey, I was just trying to, you know... What? Be my friend. Go fuck yourself, asshole. So, uh, does that mean no pizza? I don't think pizza's happening, guys. Damn. Oh. I wasn't hungry anyway. I might as well have made fun of him if that was the case. I'm thinking I was going to get nice with him. Why is he concerned about this black book? You got my helicopter? Yeah, I got it. The FAA's cleared you to cross between Mexicali and El Paso. Now, uh, before I authorize the landing, I want to have a talk about why you picked my house. Face to face, out front, where there's no deal. What's he playing at? Some kind of trap? Maybe. But right now we need to. Once we get the chopper, game. how about I go? You, you don't have I got much some leverage. I could say to him. No way. I told Ma I'd look after you. It's all right. I put my big boy pants on today. Oh, you mess with us, one. it's the hostages who pay. You'll be fine. You have my word. Pizza boy, you and I are going for a stroll. Hey, tell Dante he better get us out of here. Do you have to hold me so tight? It's not my fault your neck's so fat. I'm coming out! <laughs> God damn. I can't wait to be on a beach somewhere. Eating tamales, drinking tequila. Yeah, when you're a hostage, you gotta you gotta ease what you are almost there. Just keep a cool head. Mm -hmm. Cool head, right. You sound like Tyler. Come on, please make it back. Guess who? Dale Holt. I was expecting your brother. Merry fucking Christmas. Oh, this is gonna escalate. Bet. Didn't think I'd see you again so soon. They have oh, history. Oh, that's reassuring. I never thanked you from my shoulder. I was aiming for your heart, but I guess you ain't got one. Hmm. You know... You were small time before today. That ugly assault a couple summers back. <laughs> Some petty theft. Oh, but now look at you. You boys sure have made a name for yourselves. I'll do you one better, jackass. I pissed in your lemonade. Anyway... <laughs> I believe you have something of mine. Why was that yeah. so, like, focused? Your money. Not the money. My black book. Where is it? The fuck are you talking about? Don't play games with me! One step closer and I blow his fucking head off, I swear. Tell me where it is. I told you already. I don't know anything about that. Have it your way. Why is he so concerned about this? Oh, shit. Please don't tell me I have to do something to save him. Okay. 
last time I did the thing that I thought was going to kill the person, it didn't happen anyway. Because I feel like even if I don't warn, he's not going to get shot. Something's going to happen. He's going to notice it. Sniper! Bro, I'm just shooting while I'm running. We're going back inside. Go, go. Holy fucking shit! Bro, that's so irresponsible. The cops are shooting. Jesus Christ! Oh, He's got a there. sniper on the fucking water tower. We ain't getting that chopper, are we? Vince. It's okay. I'm, I'm just right. hoping that me warning gets me some good, you know, some good faith. That's oh. the only reason I did it. Bro, imagine that shit vibrates while I'm like <laughs> near them. Find that book or people will die. What? You know what? I Dale is crazy. But now I'm like, yo, you a piece of shit. Find the book or people will die? How are you gambling hostages on a on a black book? You know what else? His wife did say something about um whatever he gets he deserves or something in the first chapter. Shit, now I'm about to start working with the, the robbers. Yeah, yeah. See, y'all already know. Principal. Strong moral convictions. That's my middle name. Alright, that one at least didn't end on like a cliffhanger, really. Hmm. But, um. Let's see, was there a lot of different paths? Ah, I never resolved the argument. This is what I'm more interested in. See, look at this. There is a path where she doesn't admit to cheating. <laughs> there is a path where she literally gaslights you and lies to you casually. And he just goes, okay. <laughs> I was not going to let that happen. No matter what, ain't mm -mm. I cannot believe that shit. You literally could have gotten lied to, and like none of this happens. That's crazy. That part is crazy to me. Like usually it would be like she admits, but like I don't know. You get angry or you react differently. But she could have even never admitted. I kind of wish I uh, I'd like talk to the caller too. <laughs> but I was like, nah, we'll find out one way or another. But there's also one where she doesn't answer. That's interesting. What did I do that made her feel comfortable to answer? All right, so from the get get angry, got angry path. Okay, end up in three outcomes. Or all four, maybe. 
Yeah, we never resolve that shit. <laughs> <laughs> that means that shit's gonna come up again. <laughs> I mean, it was probably already gonna come up again, but... Vince, Michelle, and Indra Jim remain. So I'm guessing there's... Some of these have a death, so... Nobody died yet, y'all. <laughs> Nobody died yet. If anyone dies... I'd rather it be the dad, just because, again, he's lived his life, he's going to die soon anyway, than the wife. I guess that would be the natural order anyway. No, no, no. In a, in a completely neutral scenario, where I'm like, I'm thinking about me and my, like, if it was me and my scenario, and it was my old dad, who has a brain tumor, is going to die soon anyway. My wife and my daughter. I w it would be my dad first, and then I was I sacrificed myself before my wife or daughter. I want them to live. If two people gotta go, but <laughs> in this scenario, or if you cheat on me, it's well. Again, I want this scenario is <laughs> dad, and then wife and then me and then my daughter so i was gonna say in my scenario but i'm like why would i why would i be like on vacation or traveling to move in this scenario if that happened to me so that was that was whatever but i'm talking too much uh all right we wrapped up chapter two in about an hour and 20 minutes probably spent a good <laughs> 10 of it talking uh, I'm loving where the story's going. This is... I didn't think it would get past more. I thought it would go... It would be like... You got your main family, and then you got the robbers. And then it would be like how you maneuver with them. You get buddy-buddy with them. It would escalate, blah, blah. But now it's like the sheriff is like... Got some skeletons in his closet or something. Everybody does a little dance with the devil. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I'm love. I'm liking this. I'm gonna look up how many chapters there are. But, um, yeah, these should be both uploaded. Uh, today or later today. Uh, July 20th, Wednesday double uploads <laughs> I'm over here talking like I have like years in history of series running this shit but um yeah I am loving this shit I'm mainly kind of not being concise cause I'm like I already know there's only three of you watching me right now anyway <laughs> cause most of my subs come from you know a whole different style of you know YouTube videos so there's gonna be two or three of you that actually watch this so I know I can get away with talking a little more, I think, or whatever. It's my channel. I can do what I want. Um, all right. And I will see y'all tomorrow. So while this is uploading tomorrow, like when you're watching this, I'll, I should already have, like, I don't know. I should be recorded and played through um, chapter three and four. So we'll see if we can knock this out in a couple days. All right. Thanks for watching. Peace.